There's one. What's going on there, problem solvers? This is Rob with 99 Problems But A Fish Ain't One. We just completed the video, bass on five different types of techniques. You guys don't wanna miss this one. Before we start, like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the video. So the first bait to get out of the way today is the green pumpkin Sanko. Rigged, of course, in the uh, wacky style. It is a little bit tougher to fish in these conditions because of how many rocks there are on the bottom of this creek and how exposed the hook is makes you very prone to snags. There is some slower moving water here off to our right hand side and I have a good feeling. I think within two or three casts right into this little water we'll have our fish on the Sanka. So we're just going to let them drift in. There's, there's one. Nope, he fell off. Fell off. There's one. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good one. Josh is going to help me net him. Where do you want me to go? To your, to my, up to my right, up to my right. To your right? Yep. Here, I got it, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you go from here? There you, there you go. Right there. there you go. Woo! Heck yeah. On the Sanko. Heck yeah. There he is, boys and girls. In all his glory. Nice. Sanko's off the board. So what should we go with for our next bait? I think I'm going to go with the jerk bait. Now I only have one of these guys. So that might be interesting, but I wanted to include it on the of the five baits we're using. I definitely want to include the jerk bait. I typically would probably do a uni knot. That's kind of my go-to for hard lures. Um, but just because I'm waiting and filming, I just kind of want to get back out to fishing. And this knot's a little bit easier for me in those conditions. Let's get the jerk bait out there. Alrighty guys, so that's one bait down. We finished fishing this hole behind us on the jerk bait. I got one bite, but nothing else wanted to hook up. So sticking with the jerk bait, we're moving downstream. What time do you think it is? Probably maybe like three o'clock. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Like so yeah, maybe like two or three more hours to complete this challenge. There's one. Oh. No. Jeez. So how I work the jerk bait, or how you should work the jerk bait, is on a semi-slack line. You're gonna do a real erratic retrieve. <laughs> Save that one from a snag. The question is, if a rock bass hits this, am I still gonna count it? Cause there's definitely rock bass in here. Still working on that jerk bait. I 
I mean, I only brought one color, but oh, I thought I had one there. I only brought one color, but I don't think it's the color that is making this challenging for me. I think it's just, they're not keying in on, you know, these type of baits. And also I'm fishing it on pretty light tackle. There's one. Got my jerkbait fish. Let's go. Let's go. How is he? How is he? Oh, he's not, I mean, he's not big, but, oh man, he only has one, one treble in him. He only has one treble in him. Oh man. Oh shoot. There it is. And look at that. The jerkbait falls out. Jerkbait falls out. As soon as he's in the net, the jerkbait falls out. But there he is. Just a little dink. A little dinker. But hey, this is jerkbait complete. Alrighty guys, so we're through two of the five baits, including the uh, Sanko that was wacky rig. We just caught one on the jerkbait. So for number three, I've actually never caught a fish on a lipless crankbait. So we're using that guy from Rapala. I'm gonna move it fast, I'm gonna cast it downstream, and we're gonna see if we can't get a reaction bite from one of these smallmouth. First cast. I wouldn't mind getting super lucky and getting if it's off the board quick. I don't really know what the technique is with this one, to be honest. I'm just straight retrieving it. I'm just gonna see what that looks like. The thing's swimming sideways. I mean, I'm sure this isn't how it was designed to be used, but man, it's gonna take an aggressive fish to hit this thing. Good news is you can cast this thing like a country mile. I don't know if I wanna slow this down or speed it up, to be honest. I feel like my best chance of getting a bite. I think it's designed more for like lakes and like still water. I can't imagine they wanted you doing this. <laughs> Well, the challenge, uh, it's not over, but I think my time with the uh, lipless crankbait, on the other hand, and I think that's over. I've cast this thing 100 times, probably spent the last hour just casting it, trying different retrieval rates, reaction striking it, just almost like dead sticking it, um, which obviously led to a lot of snags. Uh, it's time to switch up. I'm still going for five baits. We're done with two. We need to just put in some work and, and get these other baits done. Next bait here is the Kitek electric shad rigged weightless. I think that's a three aught swim bait hook. Let's see if I can get a bite. We're counting it. The world's smallest small mouth. It counts. So small. But, bye bye. For the fourth bait, we have a little Z Man baby goat rigged one tenth ounce jig head. I'm anticipating this one's not going to be too hard, but who knows? I've been fooled before. I am anticipating a fish on this cast. There's one. Got one! Woo! Yes! Woo! 
That's a better one. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. All right, guys, so the fourth bait is finished. We got a 14 inch smallmouth. One of the better ones of the day. Again, he's not huge, but he was fun. He was a fun battle on the medium light rod. Um, so yeah, we have one more bait to go. I think we're gonna do some topwater popper action. That'll be the fifth bait. And if we can do that, we'll successfully caught fish on five different baits today, which I think is exciting. All right, guys. And the fifth and final bait of the afternoon is a nice little topwater popper. There's a little bit of deeper section here where I caught that last one on the Ned Rig right by this tree. I think there's going to be at least one more in there. There he is! First cast. Yep. There's the fifth one, guys. He's a baby, but he smacked it. He smacked it. And there it is. Appreciate the bite, young man. All right, let's get it back out there. All right, guys, and there it is. Like I promised, bass on five different types of techniques. Thoughts, it was a lot harder to do than I thought it was. I mean, the bass today, it was so hot and so uncharacteristically hot. It was hard to predict the bass behavior, but we got it done. I enjoyed making it and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Stay tuned to see more videos on my channel.